Ice cream lovers, look, welcome to another quick episode of uh, Scoop School. Look, we're behind the case again, and I was thinking that might be a good, uh, would that be a good name for a podcast, Behind the Case? Probably not. Anyway, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is the Ice Cream Club. Rich and Heather Draper, they've got a whole crew of people down there, ice cream makers, quality control people, shipping people. They're good, good people. And if you want to not make your own ice cream, but you want to buy your ice cream, they are a very, very good good option for you. The Ice Cream Club, the link is down below. And look, if you're talking to Heather or Rich, you tell them that I said hello. Okay, so we're talking a little bit in this episode about taking care of your ice cream at night. Now, the big thing for ice cream shop owners is making sure that the quality of your product in the case stays at a very good level. But the trouble is, you're working against basically humidity, ambient air temperature, frosting in the case, so you've got to do everything you can to try and protect your ice cream in the case for as long as you possibly can. So this is where my good friends here at the dry wax paper company come into play. At the end of every day, you should cover your ice cream. And a lot of ice cream shops actually just put a lid on the top. My concern about that is, is that when you've got the lid here and still some space between the bottom of the lid and the top of the product, sometimes it might be this much, 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 sometimes it might be this much. Anyway, that gap uh, can still be subject to frosting and condensation. So what I prefer to do is take one of my handy dandy wax papers, shing! So you'll take one of your handy dandy wax papers and you just want to basically place this on top of the ice cream. You do not want to push it down because it will get a little bit brittle overnight. And you may find that if you're pushing it actually down into the ice cream, that it will actually push in, freeze in there and you might not be able to get it out. Now, what this does, it just protects the surface of the ice cream so it's not affected by condensation, heat change, you shouldn't really have your uh, cyclic defrost happening at the end of the day, at the end of the day. But sometimes some cases do, some people do, it's not a good thing, I would kind of guard against it. But what you wanna do is basically just cover this up. You can put a lid on here if you want, not essential, because this wax paper is basically protecting the top of the ice cream, makes a nice little seal, and then the next morning you basically come out and just very gently, peel your wax paper off. Is there a cost to it, Steve? Well, absolutely there's a cost to it, but in the grand scheme of things, that cost is much better served because it'll maintain maybe another day or two or three or four days longer than it would if they're just sitting out like this overnight. So I buy my wax paper just in food service. This is Members Mark Wax Paper, Sam's Club. I like it because the actual sheet comes out. Shing! I still think we need to get t-shirts with shing on them, but no one will ever know what it means. Anyway, these are almost like the perfect diameter uh, just to put over those buckets. We use these all the time. We use them at the end of the production when we're taking product out of the batch freezer, dress it, put this on, goes into the blast, and then we utilize them again in the case to keep our products nice and fresh for a longer period of time. I'm interested to hear from you how you keep your products fresh. You can leave a message down below. We'd love to hear from you. Look. Also, while you're typing away down below, if you had a question about the ice cream business, we'd love to help you answer that question. You can leave a message down below. You can reach out to us, info at scoopschool.com. We love helping people in the ice cream business. Again, a big thank you to our episode sponsor, Ice Cream Club. Their link is down below as well. And as we always say at the end of our episodes, keep on scooping. We should do a, like, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to keep on scooping. See you next time.